Hello guys. Today we want to control our LED lights using the ultrasonic sensor and we want to set it up as a, a security system where if something gets close to a, a specified distance, the buzzer will go off then the LED will go, will go on. When there is nothing close to the ultrasonic sensor, we want the LED to be green and if let's say for instance an intruder or something gets close, then the LED will get on, will turn on in order to signify that there is an obstruction and the buzzer will go off. For this project, we are going to need a breadboard, an ultrasonic sensor, an Arduino, two LED lights with resistors, a, an active buzzer, a couple of jumper wires, and of course, external source of power. So the way we are going to do this project is, we are going to start by connecting the Arduino to the breadboard using the uh, two wires. What you want to do is, we are going to have one wire coming from the five volt uh, pin on the Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. And then we are going to have a, posit in, in, a, a, a negative or ground wire coming from the breadboard to the negative rail of the breadboard. This makes us it makes it possible for us to connect all the other wires like the, the buzzer, the ultrasonic sensor, getting its power from the straight from the breadboard. So the first item that you are going to put on will be the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor comes with four pins, one which is VCC which is for power, trig which is going to send the trig the signal out and echo which is going to receive the, the the rebounding signal and then ground which is going to be for the negative part of the setup so what we want to do first is to put the ultrasonic sensor onto the board and then you're going to need four wires that are going to, we are going to use to connect it to the breadboard and the arduino so just make sure that all the wires are lining up with the pins. All right. So the first wire, which is the VCC, is going to go to the positive rail of the breadboard. positive rail of the breadboard. The second wire, which is going to be the trig wire, is going to go to pin number two on the Arduino. The third wire, which is the echo, is going to be connected to pin number three on the breadboard. And then the last wire from the ultrasonic sensor is going to be the ground and we are going to connect it to the negative rail on the This completes breadboard. the wiring of the ultrasonic sensor. The next item that we are going to put on are the, going to be the LED light. The LED lights, one of the legs, the shorter leg is going to be our ground for both LEDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the uh, LEDs onto the breadboard. Make sure they go up across the division at the center of the breadboard, like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add the resistors that are going to limit the current that goes into the LEDs. So we want it to come from the LED to the negative part of the rail. Same thing with the second one. Let's make sure that they are all set in so that you have a complete circuit. Right. Now we are going to need one wire that is going to come from this negative side on the breadboard across so that we can have a complete circuit with the LEDs. Then we're going to need two wires that are coming from both LEDs connecting them to the Arduino. So the first 
wire is going to go to to pin number eight on the breadboard then the second LED is going to go to pin number nine on the breadboard okay so this completes the wiring of the LEDs now the last thing that we want to put on the board will be the buzzer for the buzzer it will need two wires one of them is going to be the ground the one with the positive is going to be going to the Arduino for control so we are going to put them on the breadboard So, so the negative side is going to go to, onto our ground, and then the the positive part of the uh, of the break, the buzzer is going to go to pin number eleven on the Arduino. This completes the wiring of the ultrasonic sensor controlled LED and bus. So what you're going to do is you're going to you go onto my website and you can upload the code for this uh, project and then after that you can actually put power it up using external power you can use the light volt like I'm doing or you can use your computer. If everything is wired good So if you get close to the ultrasonic sensor, the buzzer will go off and the light, if it is far away, the green light will be on. If you get close, then the red light will come on and the buzzer will come out. This actually can be used as a security project. Thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video.